Good morning. I'm Mike Arning, Director of Communication for Stewart Haas Racing, and thank you all very much for your time this afternoon here at Atlanta. Up here is Tony Stewart, driver owner of Stewart Haas Racing, and Brett Food, Executive Vice President, Stewart Haas Racing. Tony has prepared some remarks, and we'll go ahead and, and let him read those. Tony, the floor is yours. Thanks. Um, yeah, this has been one of the toughest tragedies I've ever had to deal with, both professionally and personally. And this is something that will definitely affect my life forever. This is a sadness and a pain that I hope no one ever has to experience in their life. With that being said, I know that the pain on the morning that Kevin Ward's family and friends are experiencing uh, is something that I, I can't possibly imagine. I want Kevin's father, Kevin Sr., and his mother, Pam, and his sisters, Christy and Kayla and Caitlin, to know that every day I'm thinking about them and praying for them. The, the racing community is a large family, as you guys know, and everyone's saddened with this tragedy. I want to thank all my friends and family for their support through this tough emotional time. And the support from the NASCAR community, my partners, all of our employees has been overwhelming. I've taken the last couple weeks off uh, out of respect for Kevin and his family and also to cope with the accident in my own way. It's given me the time to think about life and how easy it is to, to take it for granted. I miss my team, my teammates, and I miss being back in the race car. And I think that being back in the car this week with my racing family will help me get through this difficult time. I also understand that all of you have many questions and, and want a lot of answers. But however, I need to respect the ongoing investigation process and, and cannot answer and address the questions this time. Emotionally, I'm not sure if, if I could answer them anyway. I'm here to race this weekend and I appreciate your respect and there will be a day when I can sit here and answer the questions. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. And again, Brett Fruit, Executive Vice President of Stewart Haas Racing, will be available. Take a handful of questions. We do have some folks here uh, with the Speedway with microphones. We do ask that you raise your hand, and when a microphone is brought to you, you state your name and affiliation. We'll start in the back with, with Tom, then Nate, Ed, and then we'll work over here. Hi, Brett. Tom Jensen, Fox Sports 1. NASCAR issued a statement yesterday that Tony had received all necessary clearances to race. What, what was the process of going through clearances and what approvals did he need? Well, as you all know, when a driver's out of the car, there is that process. And um, I'm not going to get into the, the medical side of it, but I will say we've been in close contact with them throughout the process and have gotten them what they needed for get him back in the car right now. So we'll go with Nate and then Ed. Uh, Nate Ryan, USA Day Sports. Brett, the investigation, as we understand, in Ontario County is still open. Uh, was there any thought to not having Tony race until it was closed, and why, why now? Well, you know, I think for Tony, it's all about this healing process, and that's part of why he's in the car. You know, besides his mom, his dad, his sister, his niece and nephew, his family is here. It's at this racetrack. And I think it's just part of the healing process, being with this family that he's been with for the, since 1999 and knowing that these people are gonna help him get through this. I think that's one side of it. The other side of it is he's a racer. We've got 270 employees. And I think him putting a helmet on will help him cope with this situation. Ed? Ed Hinton, ESPN.com. Brett, uh, respecting the process the investigation knowing there's things you can't comment on are you able to say whether you know 
whether Tony has a clear picture in his own mind of what happened that second or two that night. I am not going to comment on the on the incident itself. It was a tragic accident, and uh, right now I want the focus to be on Tony in the car this weekend and how he's going to get through this. We'll go with Bob and then Claire. Uh, Bob Parker, Sporting News. The fact that Tony is racing this weekend, should we read anything into that about what you know about the investigation and where it's at in the process? No, I mean, we, we've really been respecting the process, as Tony said, in the investigation. Um, him being in the race car right now is about him getting through what has been a very emotional two weeks and what his next step is in, in coping with this. Um, there's been a great deal of empathy and sympathy for that family and what they're going through. And uh, for Tony, it's just been extremely emotional. And this is what is going to help him. Claire. Claire B. Lang, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Can you talk about where Tony is at emotionally right now to step into the car, where his emotional state is at? And was it 100% his choice not to race the last couple of weeks without the involvement of the sanctioning body that we will hear from next? I'll address the latter first. Yes, the, the decision to be in the car is 100% Tony's. Um, can you repeat the first question? I'm sorry. Yes, please define his emotional state at this stage to step back into the car. Very fragile Tony Stewart at this point. You just saw Tony. He's very emotional. It's been a, it's been a difficult two weeks. Um, but Tony is ready to be in the race car. Uh, he wouldn't be here if he wasn't. Marty. Marty Smith, ESPN. Brett, sort of following up on what Claire just asked, uh, you've worked for Tony for a long time. You've seen him in ways we have not. How would you characterize his preparation for this and what you think he'll experience as he gets back in the car? I think it's going to be very overwhelming um, being in that garage today, and he's going to feel an awful lot of support. As I just mentioned, this is his family. It's, it's the crew members, it's the officials, it's the drivers, it's his family that he's been with since 1999. And this is gonna be part of that process for him. I, I believe it's gonna be an overwhelming process uh, this weekend. That being said, Tony Stewart's a race car driver. He's been a race car driver for the past 35 years. When he puts that helmet on in practice, I'm, I'm quite convinced he'll be ready to race the car and uh, he, he'll be able to separate the two. Uh, Brett, why do you, I mean, this obviously is a tremendous tragedy, uh, and, but obviously in the sport of racing, guys, these guys learn to kind of deal that that's part of the sport in a, in a sense. Why do you think this has uh, hit Tony so hard? Because he was involved in an accident and a young man died. I, I, I can't imagine what he's going through. I can't imagine what the kid's parents are going through. Um, it's just something, as Tony said, that he hopes no one in this room and certainly anywhere will ever have to go through. Um, was involved in a tragic accident. And we're going to finish up with two more back here and then George. Gabe Gutierrez with NBC News. I noticed Tony mentioned Kevin Ward's family members by name. Has he reached out to them personally at all? Tony has uh, sent the family flowers and a card around the services. Um, besides that, he's been very respectful of them and their time to grieve. Uh, I do know that it'll be very important, is important for Tony to spend time with the family, and I do believe that will happen in the appropriate time. And last question with George. Yeah, Brett, over here, George Diaz, Orlando Sentinel. You, obviously, it's an emotional time. and. Um, how internally, how do you deal with it as an, as an organization and just in, in, the, in the prep work? Because let's face it, it's not just, it's not an ordinary weekend that all of you are dealing with. Sorry. We've got 270 employees back in Kannapolis working hard. We've got, Tony has three other team members. And you know, th these are folks that are at Stuart Haas because they believe in the leadership, they believe in the ownership, believe in the folks that we have surrounding them, and we believe in them. So for them, you know, I, I think their focus has been undeterred over the last several weeks. They're obviously really excited uh, to have Tony back in the car 
and that leader and the guy they believe in. Um, so I, I think the focus will be there this weekend from those guys, and uh, we should be good. All right, everyone, thank you very much for your time. We certainly appreciate it. A transcript of this will be available later. Thank you. Thank you.